All right, so this is a video for the Chicago Bears fans. I told y'all this is my, you know, I'm going to be doing a bunch of shit on here, man. It ain't just going to be one subject and nothing like that. I'm going to be talking about a uh, bunch of shit, man, life in general, uh, especially to my sports fans and shit like that. I'm going to be talking about the Bulls, the Bears, the Cubs. Y'all not either one of those fans. It's just y'all not subscribed, you know, things like that. But if y'all just like talking about sports in general, we can also do that too, so. You know, whatever team y'all go, so if y'all got questions or things like that, please feel free, free, free to comment and whatnot. So let's get to the Bears. Mr. Trubisky sucks. I've been a Chicago fan since I was born. I can't help it. I was raised that way, so. And I love the Bears regardless of what happens, but I know a fucking bum when I see him. You know what I'm saying? And that guy's a fucking bum. <laughs> Real shit. We need to stop fooling ourselves. Talk about how good this guy is. This guy's not, he's no good, man. Trust me when I tell y'all. That dude is garbage. Don't let me fuck y'all head up, man, with this shit, man. And don't let me discourage y'all from being Bears fans and what like that, because that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to let y'all understand here. Stop saying everybody got that man uh, hating on Mitch and all this shit. First of all, Mitch is hating on himself. I don't know what the fuck this boy problem is, but I do know it's a double standard with black quarterbacks and white quarterbacks. That I do know. And I know for a fact that that Mitch ass can't throw the ball. So let's just let's just run this boy. You know what I'm saying? Let him I, I let him do what he do, I guess, you know what I'm saying, on his own shit. But at the same time, make it easy for him, you know what I'm saying? Stick what he knows best, and that's scrambling and getting out the pocket, man, and throwing throwing the ball, man. Y'all study uh, uh, trying to make this boy to a pocket quarterback, man. Come on, y'all gotta think about this for a second. He lost his job in North Carolina, man. Cut that shit out, man. I don't wanna keep hearing that shit. Oh, y'all want to get Mitch a chance? Motherfucker, he had three years. I don't want to hear that shit. And the only reason why I'm going to keep giving him an opportunity because he still got a full year left. He still got his year left, so he got about 10 more games left, including his Chargers game. If he don't show up in the next two, three weeks, man, I don't care if we lose to one of those games. If he don't show up, bro, y'all got to be fucking kidding yourselves, man. Y'all not fuck, man. Look, that boy is trash. If he don't show up in the next two or three weeks, man, it's over. Stop talking about Cam Newton all this shit. Cam more worried about fashion. He don't give a damn about no damn football. He want to wear scarves around his neck like a little bitch and run around here, get that man dressed up in girl clothes. Cut that shit out, man. You know what I'm saying? That boy got paid. That boy ain't fucking around. We don't need him in Chicago. And plus, Chicago don't draft black quarterbacks or they don't really pick black quarterbacks, period. The last black quarterback I believe they had was Cordell Stewart, and I don't think he was on there for like a couple weeks or some shit, for eight weeks or something. And he was at the end of his prime. I love how you Bear fans, man. Supposedly, Bear fans love getting old players. Phillip Rivers, good Phillip Rivers. Y'all getting people past their prime, man. What, ain't y'all sick of that? Ain't y'all sick of grabbing people past their prime? I'm sick of these motherfuckers. I don't want them. I want a young boy in there that can do what he do. And Mitch is not one of them. And y'all not going to tell me that wasn't, no, that wasn't no fucked up shit that they did on draft day. Moved up to pick a bum. When they could have easily got Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes. I tell you right there that Chicago... Uh, the state of Chicago Bears got them and end their franchise that they ain't fucking with nobody black when it comes to quarterback. Okay, that's I'm just being 100,000 with y'all. I've been a Bears fan my whole life, and I know that for a fact. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Y'all try to get down on Russ Grossman and shit like that, man. At least Russ Grossman's all right. At least he can hit somebody. At least he can throw the ball downfield. That he could do. He might have been fucked up, you know what I'm saying? He might not have been the greatest quarterback, but he, got, he hit the ball downfield. He threw that deep ball pretty good. And Mitch can't even throw a fucking 15 yard or 10 yarder, so I don't want to hear that shit, man. I don't know what the hell's going on with his confidence. Maybe that's it. I'm not jumping a gun. I'm not doing nothing. I'm, I'm speaking about facts of what I see. The boy ain't doing well at all, man. Like, real shit. Don't tell me. I don't want to hear that Ryan Fitzpatrick shit, that Marcus Mariota trash ass. All these trash ass quarterbacks y'all study, you talk about go get this person, go get that person. Man, fuck all that, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think they're better than Mitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they still trash. So let's think about that for a second. Secondly, man, I don't want to be on here too long, man, because my shit ain't even like, my account ain't really up and moving like that. So like I said, y'all like and subscribe, man. I'll get back to y'all, man, on this Chicago Bear shit. I'll get back to y'all on this uh, life shit, you know what I'm saying? This, this, this violence in Chicago. Uh, man, a, a bunch of shit, man. You know, even the president, man, we can talk about him too, man. I know y'all, a lot of y'all don't want to talk about it, but we need to. Uh, because communication rules the nation, man. You know what I'm saying? We didn't got to the point in our life, goddamn it, where we don't want to communicate with each other. We just want to throw our opinions out there and say, fuck everybody else's opinions. And we all have an opinion, man. We can only get better if we communicate. 
instead of uh, dissing each other and, and getting outside each other, uh, getting each other face and shit like that and talk about, you're not a real bear fan. How you going to tell me what, what I am and what I'm not? You don't know me. I'm not going to say that about you. I'm going to say you some some of y'all delusional. Yeah, I was one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, But I'm not too delusional. I'm delusional enough, got them to believe what I see. You know what I'm saying? So let's cut that shit out when it comes to Mitch, man. Let's just try to get this shit together, man. As Chicago Bear fans, we need to boo the Bears. We need to, like, start writing, I don't know, letters to the office, uh, to the Bears, uh, you know what I'm saying, and tell they motherfucking ass, like, hey, man, we ain't going to keep putting up with this shit. Start boycotting those games. All them highest tickets they paying, them highest prices on them tickets, man. It's ridiculous. To watch a quarterback, goddamn it, look like he's playing in the backyard. Not good, y'all. Not good at all. So I'm telling y'all right now, Stop saying Mitch is going to get better. He's going to get better. Until I see it, I don't want to hear it. I told y'all last year, man, if he, ain't, if he ain't have a 30 touchdowns this year and at least like maybe two, three rushing touchdowns and probably like 3,500 yards, I, feel, I, I thought that would be a, a really good year for him as far as I'm concerned because it improved from last year. But he ain't, I don't know, he ain't on the pace. Like I said, he got 10 more games that we'll see, man. But the way he's playing, I don't even think he's going to get 15 touchdowns, to be honest with you. And honestly, I believe me personally, I think we should just, you know, move forward before it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep me, y'all want to keep going through this shit with a motherfucker y'all know ain't shit. Y'all crazy, man. But that's another, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that another day, man. I just want to get on here real quick because I ain't posting in a few days. But uh, I'll get back to y'all, man, once I get uh, situated. Cause like I said, I've been sick and shit. My jaw and shit like that. I got inflation in my jaw. I got to get my lungs, my tonsils, excuse me, pulled out. And, uh, yeah, once I feel a lot better, man, I'll, I'll be on here a lot more often. So y'all like and subscribe, feel free to comment, man, hit that notification bell. I need a thousand subscribers, man. So I'm not looking for no money. I'm not looking for no donation. I'm not going to go find me page. I'm not looking to make no money off none of this. I really just want to hear what people have to say. I like communicating with people. You know, I just want to hear what y'all got to say, man. So don't think I'm on any of that. I don't care about none of that, man. Y'all ain't got to donate nothing. I'll buy my own computer. I don't got one right now. I'm using my phone. That's the reason why I'm not able to upload videos and stuff like that like I should be able to. You know what I'm saying? But I, I got to reach a certain... I can't go live unless I, unless I reach a certain status. You know, which is like... I think it's like 1,000 subscribers. So, yeah, feel free to subscribe, man. Support your boy on that note. When on the money side, I don't need anything for nobody. I don't care for money. I don't care for material stuff. I do care about humans, and I care about conversations and people feelings. So, y'all let me know, man. Like I said, like and subscribe. Tune in with your boy. It's your boy, Money Joe. I'm out, Joe.